Joining us now to discuss BTC price and more is Tactic Wealth Advisor, Eddie Gifford. Eddie, welcome to the show. So I wonder if we might see any further problems with Bitcoin or has it bottomed out right now? Are we at the bottom? I don't know if we're at the bottom, but it's definitely behaving well from the standpoint that if we look back over the last couple of months, we've seen, you know, throughout this year, we've actually seen growth stocks and Bitcoin kind of be correlated with each other almost on a one-to-one -one basis. And so what's happened in the last couple of months in September, when everything just went free fall in the stock market, Bitcoin actually held up. And then uh, as, uh, as it's continued to kind of climb back out of the hole, Bitcoin is still remaining strong. So where we've seen uh, so much volatility in the stock market, we haven't seen near that volatility in Bitcoin. And so that that's a good sign. That means that, you know, we could be forming a little bit of a foundation here. Uh, we would definitely be holding here uh, uh, from the standpoint that, that we think that there is some upside uh, trajectory here. Now, obviously, uh, there's always the chance that things that could, could go lower. There's always the chance that things could blow up and, and everybody runs away. Uh, but I think what we're seeing is we're seeing almost a little bit of a flight to safety uh, that hasn't been happening in uh, United States treasuries. I think that there's a lot of uh, issue in general with trust related to what's going on at the Fed and, and uh, with Congress in general. And so I think that people are starting to say, hey, like, I'm going to start buying this Bitcoin stuff instead is, is kind of a store of value or maybe uh, an inflation uh, fighter. Um, obviously, it, it remains to be seen, but we've liked the action that we've seen over the last couple months when we're comparing it to your general uh, risk assets. What are your thoughts on the Fed's impact on Bitcoin right now? So we learned the last week they raised uh, interest rates by 75 basis points. They said they would slow it down maybe at the next meeting or the meeting thereafter. We're also expecting CPI data coming up soon. <laughs> Yeah, the CPI data is most likely going to come in high again. Uh, we're in a situation where it's definitely going to take some time to get the inflation under control. Inflation has been a big issue across the board for pretty much any type of risk asset period. Uh, but I think that as people are learning more and more about how Bitcoin works and, and how it can be anti-inflationary over the long term, I think that more people are turning toward, hey, wait, this, this at least it deserves a spot in my portfolio, you know, we look at it as kind of like a alternatives uh, and we'll give it anywhere from a four to 20% weighting depending on the client's risk tolerance. So uh, we, we've been finding it as a, a good opportunity within portfolios and it's been behaving uh, opposite of everything else lately. So it's been a good diversifier. Uh, but I think that until we get, to, you know, like the Congressman was just speaking, until we really get some clarity on a lot of things, it's gonna be a while before we get that widespread for an adoption that can really, really push Bitcoin up to mm -hmm. like big, big, big new highs. Eddie, do you think that the midterm elections will have any impact on the crypto markets or Bitcoin one way or another? And if not, you know, what will be the catalyst for Bitcoin's next swing up or down? I think that you could get an appetite for risk uh, in the event that we have red basically take over both, uh, just from the standpoint that uh, we know that there's not going to be a whole lot that, that happens that could make things good or bad uh, potentially over the next couple of years because uh, we're, we're fighting with the president in that scenario, which tends to be a good thing for markets in general. So I think that uh, now if we stay status quo, it's just going to be one of those things where we're just still kind of waiting to see like what is going to happen. So I think that really right now what we're watching is, hey, can we get back over that $22,000 uh, level and hold. And if we do that, we could definitely surge to new highs. Uh, but, you know, a, a specific catalyst at this point, again, it's just going to be clarity, taking away some of the fogginess uh, related to everything that's going on. I just don't see that happening for the next three to six months because there's just so many bad things that could happen, so to speak.